Today, I rebuilt the Kings after trading for Damar. The Sacramento Kings have officially entered win now mode after trading for the six time All Star and one of the most clutch players in the NBA in Damar DeRozan. We will be rebuilding the Sacramento Kings around that core five of Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, Keegan Murray, Sabonis, and now Damar DeRozan to see just how good this NBA team can become. What's going on, guys? I am definitely glad to be back with these daily rebuild videos right now we have a roster of De'Aaron Keon Malik Monk Kevin Herter Devin Carter Kobe Jones Jalen McDaniels DeMar Keegan Trey Lyles Sabonis and JaVale say what you want about this trade it's a dub I do not care a lot of people are very spectacle about what he provides in spacing because he did have one of his poor shootings in his three-point percentage field goal last season however he's still one of the clutchest players actually wait sorry that was the same leg. he still shot over 32 percent from three he shot over 50 percent from the field he averaged a steal, half a block, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, and 25 points. Obviously, his scoring is going to go down on the Sacramento Kings, but he's still a better playmaker than Harrison Barnes, a better mid-range scorer. His corner 3-point percentage was like in the 40s. He's a better rebounder than Harrison Barnes, I would say. Just overall, a better player. I mean, that's just a huge upgrade. We got rid of Harrison Barnes, Chris Dorte, and some taking round picks for this man, and now we're getting him at like 22 mil a year, which is just fantastic. Now... There are still speculations about the Kings getting a player like Laurie Markin and Brandon Ingram and Kyle Kuzma. Ultimately, I really don't think that's going to happen unless we get Kuzma. I am going to try to make a trade real quick. I'm pretty sure. Did I pass the team? What am I doing? Yeah, the Utah. No, I didn't. The Jazz are up here. I'm going to try to trade for Laurie. I don't think it's possible at the moment, but the package would look something like Kevin Herter. Colby Jones, wherever he is. Maybe Jalen McDaniels don't really need him. And then just all of our future first round picks. We have four of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually got Lori on the rebuild. And I did turn the difficulty up. So now he will be running the power forward position for us. We'll have DeMar coming at that starting shooting guard position. And then off the... Actually, wait, hold up. Yeah, we need to move Keegan to the three. Off the bench, we still do have Trey Lyles as well. We just have Keon Ellis, Devin Carter. And now Malik Monk is officially coming off the bench. I guess we're going to... Run him at the small forward position off the bench, which means we do have a complete rotation. I'm going to check free agency real quick. Honestly, I was so prepared not to get that man. I was about to make a trade for like Cam Johnson and Dorian Finney-Smith, which is essentially what I think they should do. In reality, this dude's on the Pistons right now, but we're taking him because he's still in free agency. Oh my gosh, just kidding. They got him back. What a steal for them. Yeah, I'm surprised we got him. I was fully prepared to make a trade for Cam Johnson and Dorian Finney-Smith. Both Caleb Martin and Najee Marshall are both gone in free agency. Haywood Highsmith is still available, so I'll see if we can get him on the Kings, which we do not. Why is everybody, everybody just matching contracts? I'm going to make a final push at Kenyon Martin Jr., a player I do honestly like a lot. I feel like he has a good upside for his contract, and we do successfully sign him. The team was kind of mid. I, I don't know. The simulation just hates the Sacramento Kings. Simonis does make the All-NBA third team for us tomorrow also just went down like five overalls right when the season started i threw devin carter in the g league just because he's going through surgery and he's gonna be out until like december anyway darren averaged 24 4 7 and 2 still some bonus with 14 13 10 g's a still half a block darren just shot 56 percent from the field as a guard keegan oh my gosh 16 6 a steal and a block over 50 percent from the field as well from him laurie was 16 7 and assist a steal half a block good shooting splits as well demar averaged 15 2 3 and a steal malik off the bench with 14 3 5 half a steal keon ellis with four two rebounds two assists a steal almost a block Kenyon martin with seven three rebounds half an assist and trail at six and four rebounds for us definitely can improve the bench a little bit we actually did just upset the mavericks in the first round and we do advance to play the seventh seed so we are going to simulate this game by game a team that just got harrison barnes and chris dorte we go up 3-0 and we beat them in four games to actually advance to the conference finals. But we are playing the first seed at Thunder. They have Shade, they still have Josh Giddy, Dort, Jalen Chet. They had a Drummond to their bench. So we'll see. We'll take it game by game and see how this goes. So far, we've been doing really well. Oh my gosh, we're down 31. We're going to lose here. Yep, we lose in five games, which is fine. It's the Thunder team. We made it a lot farther than I thought we would. Then they get swept by the Cavs, which is absolute madness. So we will try to improve the bench here i might honestly throw demar on the bench we have to re-sign laurie marketing and free agency which is another issue getting him to the kings you're gonna have to give up so many picks for that man and then he may not come back because he only has like a year left on his contract that's also the issue with brandon 
and Grimm. So we will see if Loy wants to sign back. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world, which it looks like we are going to be able to extend him here. So we still have him on the roster, which is fantastic. Him and Keegan are going crazy. I might honestly start Malik Monk at the 2 and throw DeMar at the 3. I think he's going to have a way better season than this. But at the same time, it's the rebuild. He's 35. He's going to go down in overall. I also might go ahead and trade Keon and Kenyon Martin Jr. I would never trade Keon Ellis. Um, I think he's great, but it's the rebuild and that man never developed. So I'm going. Kellaware would not be bad. They threw him in the G League. I'm doing this. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to see anything else. I'm a big fan of this guy. I think he's going to be phenomenal in the league. He's playing great in the summer league right now so that gives us our backup big man which we desperately needed this past season i'm gonna go ahead and move malik back to the shooting guard position where he'll start i'm gonna move demar to the three where he'll come off the bench and be our six man that means devin carter i guess can i keep you at the shooting guard position actually this year i can so i either need to get a power forward or a point guard jose alvarado would just add to the defense of the team i could get jordan mccollin who we actually did just get in free agency i'm pretty sure it's because Devin Carter is going to be out for a little bit. I could also just, just re-sign Trey Lyles and throw him back to the power forward position, which is where he should be. I actually, I don't hate a lot of the options we have here. I might give Jose Alvarado a shot for us. John Wall, Dennis Smith Jr. also wouldn't be bad. Dennis Smith Jr. just averaged 9, 3, 5, and over still have a block. Definitely one of the better defensive point guards in the league and his limited minutes of play. All right, we got Jose. I'm also going to give Jordan McCollin a contract just because he is on the Kings right now. And, okay, we do get him for a two-year minimum deal, which means we now have De'Aaron, Jose, Jordan McCollin, Malik Monk, Devin Carter, Keegan, DeMar, Lori, Sabonis, and Kale Ware. Wow, we're the, we're the second seed right now? Look at our team record this past season. We won 65 games. Oh, my gosh, the Thunder won 67. Yikes. Season stats. I'm glad I messed with the roster a little bit. Sabonis so averaged 15, 12, 9, and a steal at that starting 5. De'Aaron with 20, 5, 7 assists, 2 steals. Keegan, 14, 6, and assist, a steal, half a block. Lori with 16, 8, and assist, half a steal, half a block. Blake Monk now at that starting 2 guard with 15, 3, 5 assists, and a steal. Demar had 13, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, half a steal off our bench. Still got 25 minutes a game. This guy averaged, I, I'm pretty sure I butchered his name. I cannot pronounce it. He averaged 8, 6, over a block, almost a steal off our bench. Devin Carter with 10, 4, 3, and a steal. Then Jose Alvarado in like 15 minutes averaged 4 points, 2 assists, and a steal, surprisingly. We were playing the Rockets in the first round. We went in 5, and then we do have the Mavericks who have Luka, Kyrie, Sadiq Bay. Honestly, that would be such an incredible pickup for them. We do sweep them, and it looks like we are unfortunately going to be playing this Thunder roster. Here. They now have OG off the bench so we'll go ahead and take this game by game as it is tied up at 1-1 the thunder go up 2-1 and they go up 3-1 we come back we take the game five and we lose in six this season which means they are playing the Cavs once again and then they sweep resulting in the thunder winning a championship because this match average 39 and 11 geez assuming we can actually beat the thunder this year this will be our final season honestly it's not looking too good wow we just went on a five game losing streak bro and then we beat the celtics and then we go back right back to losing we did not end the season strong at all jeez man i did end up trading lori so that i could start demar for this season as well oh my Okay, we were on track to be a 61 team, and then we just lost every single game at the end of the season. So bonus does make the All-NBA third team for us once again. He usually makes it with a fourth seed now because of that horrendous ending to the year. So bonus with 14, 14, 8. Bro is just a beast. Keegan with 15, 7, 2, 1, and 1 at the power fourth position. De'Aaron with 25, 7, 2 steals. Malik Monk with 13, 3, 5. Demar with 11, 3 assists. Kel Ware with 11, 6, almost up steal and over a block. Cam Johnson off the bench with 7 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. Uh, Devin Carter with 12, 4 Gs, 2 assists, over steal. These are like starter stats. Isaiah Collier with 9, 2, 3, and almost a steal. Are we about to get waxed in the playoffs this season? Should I have just kept Lori and not upgraded the depth of the roster? Okay. That's interesting. We just swept the first seed. They actually have... Oh my gosh, they have bubble. That's weird. We should... Oh my gosh, can we relax? It's it's the seventh seed Trailblazers. Okay. We make it to the finals. I don't know how we swept the first seed. That was out of nowhere. And then Portland took two games 
on us. Simonis does win Western Conference Finals MVP. Looks like we're playing the Magic, who are the second seed. Anthony Black looks like he's developing. They also added Stefan Castle to their team and traded for Sadiq Bey. They have Paolo, Dalen Durham, Mark Williams, Jaden Hardy, Jet Howard. Bro, this team is kind of insane. We're going to take this game by game because they have a lot of depth. We do go up 2 1. We actually go up 3 1. And we close this series out in five games where the Kings actually do win an NBA championship. So, bonus does win finals MVP, averaging 15, 11, 6. Two steals is crazy for him. Our final roster we did have De'Aaron at the one, Malik, Damar, Keegan, Sabonis. Then off the bench, we have Kel, Cameron Johnson at the four, Devin Carter, and Isaiah Collier. In my opinion, this is one of the more realistic rebuilds we've done, which is why we were kind of mid this season. Damar just goes crazy down in the rebuilds because of his age. Screw the consistency he's always had in his career. It don't matter in the rebuild. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.